Hey everybody, James Yeager with Tactical Response. Well, I am going to begin this, albeit non-scientific, uh, exploration of different rounds for different guns. Uh, in this first one, we're going to study um, the, the Gorilla Silverback 9mm and what it does in some uh, clear ballistics gelatin. Again, non-scientific, it's not temperature controlled, da 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 da, da. but we're, I'm going to just begin assembling some information for you guys that constantly ask me about these things, and uh, we'll, we'll, you know, we'll try to piece this together. This will be a series, and we'll try to come to some kind of conclusion. Um, so the first one is the 9mm uh, Gorilla Silverback, which is a, which is a great round, uh, Great, great, great reputation thus far. So let's go out to the range and actually see what this stuff does in gelatin. Let's check it out. All my rounds fell off here. So I had this uh, handy dandy measuring device on the back side and it looks like right at 10 inches of penetration. And then we see the, the permanent wound channel here. And if we can slow the video down when you watch it back, we might be able to see the temporary wound cavity that spreads out from that. But that's the, uh, that's the, the silverback uh, 115 and uh, it's just over 10 inches, I guess, uh, of penetration there, um, and uh, and uh, that's that's fine for me. Now I'm going to step back and shoot it again. Mr. Yellow Jackets right there. <laughs> Hell, I want to shoot it some more. I shot my, my measuring stick. <laughs> Alright, so I shot these and they were as yeah, you know, I was pointed and I turned to shoot the sides and so I got a got it at an angle. And this thing came pretty as you please right here. I'm gonna I'm gonna take a <coughs> I'm gonna take a selfie with it. <laughs> but um but let's pull this thing out. It's right here at the edge. Came out far enough to break my uh, to break my ruler. So what what you see is even in the short short barreled Glock uh, 19, uh, full expansion and retention. It's it's the bullets all together, and uh, that is a that's a nice looking uh, projectile, and uh, and ultimately what we want is enough penetration without over penetration. Uh, we want 100% reliability. We want 1,000% accuracy. And we want these bullets to do all these magical things. It's got a, it's got a fire. It's got a, it's got load into the gun and fire and go down the barrel with, with reliability and and fly with accuracy and then hit with terminal performance but not too much terminal performance where it goes through the target and injures somebody else. Uh, we 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 want some amazing things to be done with these rounds. And, uh, it's, and it's interesting to see how science and engineering have, have come together to do things like this Gorilla Silverback. It's really interesting. Okay, so, uh, you know, pretty pretty graphic uh, there for the 9 mil. Pretty consistent. You know, we fired those, those rounds in there. You know, after the first round, it's not really very scientific. But, again, we fired all those rounds, and you can look down the side of that gelatin, as you can see, they're almost like in a line, like this perfect line. So what do we know from that? Consistent. 
They're very consistent. And I'm, I'm telling you, that's what I want in a round is consistency. And uh, so so they certainly have that, of course, reliability. They ran, you know, the the internal mechanisms, the, uh, the, the gun firing and operating and locking and unlocking and extracting and ejecting and all that. The round's got to do that. And then it's got to fly straight. <laughs> and it did that and it's got to hit the thing and then do that so uh, we, we expect a ton a ton I am able to do a ton of things uh, and uh, th this first one th th this first video this first test this first demonstration whatever you want to call it uh, the gorilla performed wonderfully it did it did all of those things in the gun in the air in the gel it did all those things well um, so on the positive side what are we what are we looking at uh positive side is it did all those things great what could it do better well that 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 might be a topic that uh is open for debate um uh it's going about 10 or so inches of penetration which is great it's great um i believe if i'm not mistaken the fbi asked for 12 inches that's for a shot that comes in from the side so it has so it can penetrate enough you know from the from the side in there so um so maybe maybe it could penetrate a little bit further a little bit deeper but this is only 115 i didn't try the heavier bullet so again let's let's just kind of see what's what the whole thing is and also if you're worried about it uh worried about that just then just put it right there <laughs> it'll take care of all the problems but uh so thanks for joining me on this uh i hope you enjoy the the second one the second one we're going to be trying some grill ammo 300 blackout a couple of different ways of that to see how it works so 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 far the demonstration or test one uh i believe is a success we'll go on to the number two and see how the 300 blackout does this is James Jacob for Type Response, reminding you that your responsibility to be ready for the fight never ends.